hey reporters it's miss Merritt, and today i'm gonna show you guys how to create your own beat in GarageBand. now keep in mind that in the past i had my students download their favorite song at least the instrumental version but instagram has gotten stricter on copyright infringement so they would either put a strike against our channel or they would limit the visibility uh, this is a lot easier and we don't have to really worry about that. So let's go ahead and get to it. If you go down here on your dock, you would go to GarageBand or you go to the magnifying glass in the upper right hand corner and type it in like so, which either way to open and find the application. Once you have it open, you would do new project and select empty project. Uh, you could keep it on audio in terms of like recording with a microphone because you're just going to be adding beats. The other selection is more so if you're connecting an instrument to the program, which you are not. Go ahead and hit create. Um, you will be adding your beat here on this track where it says audio one uh, a couple things before I go ahead and show you how to like add your track make sure that you your area is measured by time and not by beat this way you know the appropriate length for your track Uh, you could turn these two items off, and we'll get into more detail about this later once we I show you how to do voiceover work. You go to loops here in on the right side of your screen, and you have plenty of options for beat. So what you can do, you can preview the make sure see how it sounds all right I kind of like this one for our demonstration once you pick your uh, sound or beat you go ahead and drag it to your track make sure that you start it at the very beginning zero 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 now as you notice it's like it's pretty short so it's like, how can I extend this further to the length of my video? So if you put your cursor on top of the beat, you will see like two items pop up. One is to extend or like trim and the other will be the loop. So if you extend, it will loop the beat for however long, All right? And you keep going. I would say most of your commentaries are pretty short. Some of them are a little over a minute. A couple maybe more. Now, this is important. Like, make sure you're paying attention to this part. Because as you see, I can't. It's not letting me go any further. So what do I do? If Especially if, like, you're running, like, the two-minute mark. So what you would do is make sure that the audio is selected you're gonna hit command C and then this line right here this is your playhead place it at the end and then hit command V all right see if you can extend it you may have to keep doing this and this is gonna be like very tedious I'm gonna close the looper so that you could see it is gonna be like very tedious but at least like you know, you could get it, you could make it longer. All right. Now that that's taken care of, and then you have it at your length, I would suggest, like, just to be safe, have your song at least around two and a half minutes, maybe three. You could always trim it down in Final Cut Pro, but it's best to have too much. Then not enough. 
and you could play it and see how it sounds. If you're pretty satisfied with that, then you could go ahead and export. A um, couple things first. I'm going to show you how to save. You want to save your GarageBand file. Hit Command S. And you could title it uh, Track for Video Commentary. If you're doing a review, you would say Video Review. In all your GarageBand files will be saved under a folder GarageBand. This is fine. Save. And to export, you would go up near the left side of your screen to share. Export to disk. You can either keep the same name. It's going to add like a date. This time, just save the exported file to desktop so it's a lot easier for you to upload into Google Classroom. Save it as MP3 for now. We'll get into more details about the different types of audio files, but for this project, keep it at MP3. Export. And your audio file will appear on your desktop. All right, so I'm gonna just do a quick demonstration in Final Cut Pro on how to add audio. I already have it here, but. You would drag the audio underneath your video, like so. And of course you would lower it. You don't want the music to be louder than uh, the reporter. Hi, this is Paris Meyer reporting for Echo. In this day and age, because of the global pandemic, ta-da! And there you have it. That's how you make your beat for your video project. Now keep in mind, I know that everybody hasn't recorded their video yet, so you would just be uploading the exported audio file to Google Classroom for my approval. Alright you guys, I will let you go ahead and make your beat.